Hi, I'm John Gann, Director of Software Development at Chesapeake Technology. You may know that SonarWiz provides a great set of geophysical tools for working with side scan, sub-autom, magnetometer, and bathymetry data. But did you know about the SonarWiz sub-autom swell filter? Okay, so let's say you've been collecting sub-autom data in a rough sea. The boat, of course, and the sub-autom transducer connected to it are moving up and down with the motion of the boat causing an unpleasant feeling for the surveyor, but also causing a sawtooth pattern in your sub-bottom data like we see here. On larger survey ships, you might have the luxury of using a heave compensator. And in this case, SonarWiz can easily use the heave compensation information to remove the swell motion from this data set. But let's say you don't have a heave compensator they're expensive and it's just one more piece of gear to set up on the boat. So this week's Did You Know video will be a quick demonstration of the sonar with swell filter tool for helping you get that sea state motion out of your sub bottom profiles. To use the swell filter the first step is to track the seafloor using the built-in bottom tracking tool. Normally we ask you to have the smoothing filter on when running the bottom tracker, but when we're doing swell filtering we want to get that very dynamic high frequency motion in the bottom track line. So I'll have to use the manual tools to clean up a few things, but it's pretty quick. Okay, that looks pretty good. I don't see anything else that looks bad, so I'll save that bottom track. Now, to apply the swell filter, it's going to ask you what is the swell, pil swell period in seconds. And you can use your cursor location in SonarWiz to measure the distance between these peaks and come up with an estimate. I've already done that, and it's about 8 seconds. So if I apply an 8 second swell filter, you can see all of that wave motion has been removed from uh, my record, and I've got a, a much nicer looking uh, data set to work with. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more, follow our YouTube channel to see more feature spotlights like this one. Join our next training session on March 14, 2016 in London.